Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. I hope you're having an amazing day. It is Friday, February 7th, 2014. And this is the evening daily verse. Jesus was moved with compassion toward them. Matthew chapter 14, verse 14. And Jesus went forth and saw a great multitude and was moved with compassion towards them, and he healed their sick. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. We have not an high priest, but cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. We can have compassion on the ignorant, and on them that are out of the way, he cometh and findeth them sleeping, and say unto them, Peter, Simon, sleepest thou? Couldest not thou watch one hour? Watch ye and pray, lest ye enter, in tempta enter into temptation. The spirit truly is ready, but the flesh is weak. Like a father pitieth his child, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. Though, O Lord, art a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering, and plenteous in mercy and truth, O turn unto me, and have mercy unto me, give in thy strength unto thy servant, and save the son of thine handmaid. And that came from Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15 for we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin <coughs> Hebrew chapter 5 verse 2 who can have compassion on the ignorant, and on them that are out of the way? For that he himself also is compassed with infirmities. Regardless of whether they know Christ or not, we should have compassion on them. Because they also have infirmities we should have compassion on them who can have compassion on the ignorant and on them that are out of the way for that he himself also is compassed with infirmity mark chapter 14 verse 37 and 38 and he cometh and findeth them sleeping and said unto peter Simon, sleepest thou? Couldn't, couldn't, couldst not thou watch one hour? Watch ye and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. The spirit truly is ready, but the flesh is weak. Psalms 103, verse 13 and 14. Like a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. Psalms 86, verse 15 and 16. But thou, O Lord, art a good, full of compassion, and gracious, long-suffering, and plenteous in truth and mercy, and mercy and truth. O turn unto me, and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant and save the son of thine handmaid. It's to me, it's saying that even the wicked deserves compassion.
even the wicked deserves compassion. Even them that fear God deserves compassion. And that's the evening daily light on the daily path for Friday, February 7th, 2014. If I feel it in me to speak upon a subject, I will. And I normally do, you all know that. I speak my normal 10 to 15 minutes, if I can. If I don't feel it, if I feel to say something, I'll say it. But if that's the only thing that I feel to say, then I normally end that devotion. And that's why sometimes I just abruptly say what I have to say and end it. We are to have compassion on everyone. Whether they know Christ or they know him not. Peace be in you, my brothers and sisters. May the Lord have mercy on us all. If you don't know Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you would like to, cry out to him. Dear Lord, forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of my past. Wash me clean. Wipe my slate clean. Make me reborn in you. Pray to him daily. Thank him daily. And then tell somebody else about him. I love you guys so very much. May the Lord have mercy on us all. God bless.